Excuse me, but is this a Miss Aubrey Anderson? Huh? Who are you? Are you trying to hit on me? No. I'm the husband of the victim of the accident you caused the other day. My name's Isaac Robbins, and my wife's name is Matilda Robbins. Don't pretend you don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do remember now. It just came back to me, lol. What do you want? Not what do you want. How do you plan on making up for what you did? In spite of the serious fact you ran my wife over and caused her a very serious injury, you've been ignoring all of my phone calls and actually had the nerve to block me. Luckily, I was able to find your messenger account using your phone number, which is how I'm speaking with you now. <laughs> so, those phone calls were about the accident, lol, whoopsie. I thought you were some kind of creep stalker, so I blocked your number. Although, it is kind of creepy that you would go out of your way to look at my messenger account. That's really weird, you know. Don't you feel ashamed? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Do you have any idea of the gravity of the situation you're in? My wife's lying in a hospital bed right now after you ran her over because you were playing around on your phone instead of looking at the road. That would be bad enough on its own, but on top of that, you've ignored us for a whole four days and didn't show up to visit her in hospital once. Do you feel even an ounce of remorse for what you did? These things happen. It's not like I had a great time of it myself. I got injured and had to go to the hospital too, you know? It was super busy. I just haven't had the time to visit. It's not that I didn't want to. I know all about the extent of your injuries. You have a slight graze on your forehead, and that's it. You didn't even need to be admitted. You went home the same day, didn't you? It's been four days since then. There's no way you haven't had a chance to come. Even still, it's not like I have a duty to visit her. I mean, why would I? I'd visit my friends if I ran them over, but you guys are strangers to me. If she wasn't dawdling around the crosswalk like that, I wouldn't have hit her in the first place. I've seen faster snails. Yeah, that's right. The accident was her fault. What? Plus, she's injured me too. So we're both in the same boat here. Ugh, would you just cut it out already? This is old news now. It only happened four days ago. It is most definitely not old news. You were so distracted by your phone, you ran my wife over right in the middle of a crossing after running a red light. Who the hell do you think you are, speaking about her like that? You broke Matilda's leg! So what? Phones heal, you know. She'll be fine before long. Just think of it as an opportunity for her to read books and learn sewing or something. Take a chill pill, sheesh. Plus, she's alive, isn't she? What's the big deal? Hopefully, she learned her lesson and drives more safely from now on. Did you know the doctor told me I might have a small scar on my forehead for the rest of my life after this? A small scar! Isn't that just, like, the worst? Don't you feel guilty? What's more important? Some random old woman's leg or my beautiful face? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. You will be paying me if it scars, won't you? You've got to be kidding me. Us? Pay you? The only reason you grazed your forehead is because you panicked and swerved into a guardrail after you realized you'd hit my wife. How dare you play the victim? You should be ashamed of yourself, young lady. You don't show any remorse, you don't apologize, yet you have the nerve to demand money from the victim? Just what exactly are you hoping to achieve with this disgraceful attitude of yours? Ah, <sighs> a disgraceful attitude? I don't know what you mean. It's considered the right and proper thing to do for the perpetrator to visit the victim in hospital and apologize sincerely in these kinds of situations. Have you no humanity? The only one who should be paying compensation and medical bills is you. 
Have you no conception of any of this? Where are your morals, young lady? You can whine at me as much as you want, but I don't have any money to give you. I can't pay you something that doesn't exist. So sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> I told you to stop screwing me around! Is there no limit to your selfishness? How can you still think this is a joke? I'll be reporting this to your parents and college. Hey, don't do that. That'd be a real nuisance for me. My mom would be so mad if she knew I wrecked the car. Uh-huh, that's it. I just thought of, like, the best idea of all time. <laughs> Tell me, old man, how old are you? What? Where did that come from? Forget that. Just tell me. How old are you? 34. What does that have to do with anything? Don't try and change the subject. Well, 34? <laughs> Don't forget your Zimmer frame, old man. <laughs> hmm, maybe it's not too old, though. Okay, I think I can allow it. Okay, here's the idea, old man. So, about the accident the other day, I'm willing to go on a date with you if you agree to forget all about it. One whole day with me! How does that sound? <laughs> what? I'm free all day this Saturday. So, I'm willing to go on a date with you if that's what it takes to get you to shut up, Gramps. <laughs> So, what do you think? You'll go out with me, and then we can just forget about what happened, can't we? We can, can't we? <laughs> Lol. What on earth are you talking about? I don't understand. <laughs> your mind must be slowing down with your old age. Let me make it super easy to understand. If you let me off the hook and drop all this stuff about money over the accident the other day, I'll go on a date with you. One whole day that you get to spend with me. You should be counting your lucky stars. Chances like this don't come around for guys your age every day. Don't you think it sounds great? You get to hang out with a hot college student all day. How many times do I have to tell you to stop messing around? Cut it out already! I'm serious! Are you a total moron? There's no way you can make up for what you did to my wife with something like that! How preposterous! I refuse! Are you sure? I mean, are you really, really sure? How often do you get the chance to hang out with a hot college student? Not often, I'm guessing. <laughs> Lol. We can do whatever you want for the whole day anything you really should know when to stop i'm running out of patience with you hanging out with you wouldn't pay my wife's medical bills nor would it heal her broken leg all i want is to see some sincerity duh that's why i'm offering you the chance to go on a date with me i'm sincerely asking you out on a date lol I'm offering you a date out of the goodness of my heart because you seem upset, lol. Surely that's the very definition of sincerity, lol. Plus, if your wife's leg's broken, that means she won't be moving around for a while. Which means you're gonna end up all kinds of frustrated if you catch my drift. It's unhealthy to let that kind of energy build up, old man. And I'm kindly offering to help out. One thing's for sure, I look a damn sight better than that old hag, lol. Oh, is this why you don't want to go on a date with me? You're so old, it doesn't work anymore? <laughs> this is too hilarious. That's enough! I'm taking you to court! What? I've been waiting and waiting, sitting tight this whole time waiting for the phone to ring, thinking you would phone us about settling out of court. But nothing came. Now I contact you and this is how you behave? Do you think I'm just going to take your insulting my injured wife lying down? 
I'll be filing criminal charges against you, so you get the punishment you deserve. You'll be hearing from my lawyer over the coming days. Prepare yourself. Huh? I don't understand what that means, Gramps. Criminal charges? What's that? I know. You're trying to scare me by using big, fancy words. Well, it's not gonna work, lol. If you don't understand, I suggest you go and do some research, because reality is going to come knocking on your door very soon. Or are you so lacking in common sense that even something as simple as that is impossible? If you don't figure it out now, your future is going to be ripped away from you in the blink of an eye, and you're not even going to understand how it happened. Why? Because you'll have a criminal record, and you'll owe huge sums of money. And you know what? That's fine by me. I have no intention of negotiating a settlement with you now. I won't sign any petitions for sentence reduction, no matter how much you beg me. I'll see to it that you don't get away with this if it's the last thing I do. No, please, wait. I just looked it up. If I get a criminal record, that means I'll be a criminal. I'm gonna be a criminal. Me? No. That isn't the life I want to have. Please, wait. Then what do you mean by losing my future and owing huge sums of money? That sounds bad. How do you not understand what I mean? Are you genuinely stupid? Did you accidentally buy a plank of wood instead of a phone? Investigate it by yourself. Maybe if you do, you'll finally realize how serious this situation is. Um, I looked up what criminal charges means and stuff about severe punishments, sentencing, and prison started coming up. Plus, there were tons of links about compensation payments. Does that mean what I think it means? You have got to be joking me! Like, oh my god, this can't be happening! Me in prison? Please tell me you're bluffing! I'm not joking, and I'm not bluffing either. In fact, I've never been more serious about anything. Not only did you run over and severely injure my wife, but you responded with the most childish, insolent, disrespectful attitude I've ever seen in a human being. Do you think for one moment I'm going to let you get away with that? Even if you just pretended to be remorseful, even if you just put on an act of being sorry, you are still barely in your 20s, which basically makes you a child. And I would have been willing to discuss settlement out of court. But no, you had to push. You had to be cocky, to be arrogant, to insult me and my wife. Well, if that's how you want to play this, then I swear I will fight you to the last. No, just wait. I'll be in big trouble if you do that. It says online that it's hard for people with a criminal record to find work. Mom said she'll kick me out if I don't find a job when I graduate college. Ugh. Plus, it says I may have to pay tens of thousands of dollars in compensation. I don't have that kind of money. I don't even know if my mom and dad have that much. Just because I may have lightly brushed your wife as I went past her in the car? Why? What? How are you somehow suddenly surprised? You wouldn't discuss any kind of settlement. Your attitude's been a disgrace from the outset. You did practically everything you could to make me as angry as possible. You were as good as asking me to take you to court. I never asked you to do that. All I did was offer to go on a date with you instead of paying compensation. The offer still stands, by the way. How about that date? Put me off the hook and we can go for pizza and drinkies, baby. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not interested in going on a date with you? I hate stupid, vulgar women like you! I'm instinctually repulsed by the idea of letting you off the hook for running over and breaking my wife's leg by going on a date! Besides, it's not me you need to apologize to. It's my wife! I get it. I'll apologize to her, I swear! Which hospital is she at? I'll pay you the settlement money, too. 
Just name your figure. I can get a hold of it. Please, just don't take me to court. Anything but court. Too little, too late. I already told you we're past the point of apologies and settlement negotiations. From now on, I'm dedicating my life to ensure you get the heaviest punishment possible. I have nothing more to say to you. All further communications will be sent through my lawyer. Expect to hear from him soon. And like I said before, prepare yourself! Just stop it already! I told you, I'm sorry! Do you have any idea how much trouble I'll be in if you file criminal charges against me? I'll tell my dad if you do it! I swear I will! Believe me, you don't want to see my dad when he's angry! If you think you have something you need to tell him, then tell him! In any case, I plan on reporting this to your parents anyway, so it's probably in your best interests that he hear it from you first. I'll tell them all about how their daughter ran over my wife, then tried getting out of paying compensation or medical bills by offering to go on a date with me, the victim's husband. Mark my words, by the time I'm finished, they'll know full well what a terrible person their daughter is. No, no, no! Don't do it! Please don't tell my dad! He'll get mad at me! He'll stop paying for me to go to college! I'm begging you! Please hear me out! I'm afraid I can't do that. I can feel my IQ drop every time you speak. See you in court. After that, I blocked all contact from Aubrey Anderson. Then I left everything else to my lawyer. I don't know whether it's because they heard from my lawyer, but Aubrey's parents showed up at the hospital with faces as white as sheets. But no longer having any interest in apologies or settlement negotiations, we had the nurses tell them we weren't taking visitors and sent them on their way. The result? Aubrey Anderson was found guilty in court. The judge ordered her to pay us a whopping $40,000 in compensation and medical bills. Her parents were no longer willing to cover her tuition fees, so she was forced to drop out of college, and to add insult to injury, they kicked her out of the house and cut off all ties with her. She really was an irredeemable fool. Thankfully, my wife's leg healed nicely, and she made a full recovery. She was able to return to her normal life, pretty much unchanged from how it was before. And I'm very relieved about that. Henry, what time are you going to finish work today? I'm thinking of inviting your mother-in-law over for a hot pot party. Sorry, I have to go to a business drinking party today. What? Wasn't that last week? I've been having more and more drinking parties with my clients lately. I can't just turn them down, they're my clients. I see. Yeah. Besides, if we close this deal, I might be one step closer to a promotion. Really? Then you'll have to work hard. I guess it'll be like this for a while. I understand. You can't do anything about it, right? Oh, please say hi to my mom for me. Okay. But she seemed like she missed you. Call her when you can, okay? My mom wants to meet our grandchildren more than me. She's always like, oh, lol. Of course, she loves Lily, but... But she's worried about you too, Henry. Tell mom to worry about herself, lol. I can't tell her that. But she has been shutting herself in home since dad passed away. She is going to get weak. I know. I tried suggesting taking her out with Lily as much as possible, but... Well, I'll leave it to you. She is a full-time housewife, so you please take care out regularly like that. Oh, hey, by the way, Lily wanted to go to the zoo. I'll ask her if she wants to come with us on Saturday. Thanks. You should come out with us sometime, okay? I know you've been busy lately, working even on your days off, but Lily misses you too. I know. She's only six years old, but in a little while she will start going out with other kids. This might be the last chance we can get out as a family. That's kind of sad. Do you really think so? I do. I'm telling you, if you leave our daughter alone too long, she'll start ignoring you. Girls grow up really fast. They might even rebel. 
Yeah, maybe, lol. Oh, I'll probably be late again today, so don't wait for me and go to bed. Alright. By the way, who's Taylor? What are you talking about? Yesterday, when you were taking a bath, your cell phone rang repeatedly. The name Taylor was on the screen. Oh, that? It's my client's name. She's the client I told you about earlier. A client? Yeah, she's my business partner. By the way, Taylor's his last name and he's a guy. I see. What? Did you think I was cheating on you or something? No, I didn't. I was just asking. When I talked with him, he went with him, he was actually my senior. We went to the same university. Wow, what a coincidence. That's one of the reasons we hit it off so well. We talked about old story when we were drinking, lol. Sounds good. He's five years older than me, but he's so kind to me. I see. Well, I hope the business meeting goes well. I hope so. Oh, speaking of which, can I invite him to her place sometimes? What? To her house? He's still single. He always eats out, so let him try your home-cooked food. I can't make such a big dish, but if you don't mind... No problem, because your homemade food is good. Okay, I'll ask him about it. Okay, let me know when you decide on the date. I have to prepare for it. Well then, good luck with your work. Thanks. Say hi to Lily and Mom. Henry, how are you doing? Good. What's up, Mom? I just wanted to contact you. I haven't seen you at all lately, so I was just worried. Don't worry, I'm doing fine. You heard from Michelle and Lily, right? That's true, but... It seems like you've been pretty busy. Well, a little bit. I have to do many things. With work? Something like that. By the way, when Michelle and Lily went to the zoo the other day, I heard you gave Lily a stuffed animal as a present. Thank you. No worries. Is she happy? She's been sleeping with it ever since. I guess she really enjoyed going to the zoo. That's great. I wish you could have gone too. Maybe there is another chance. Don't make your shift. I'm not doing that. You have to do family service once in a while, don't you? Not only for Lily, but for Michelle too. You don't need to tell me that. I heard you invite your business partner to your house the other day. Michelle told you? What a nice wife to entertain your business partner. She's a very nice girl, isn't she? You really have to take care of her. Absolutely, yeah. Since the other person's name's Tyler, Michelle said for a moment I thought Henry was cheating on me. I knew it, lol. I told Michelle Taylor is a guy. He's also my senior in college. Michelle told me that. Don't worry your wife too much, okay? That was just her hasty assumption. Even if that's true, the fact that you come home late every day is a truth, so as a husband, you have to follow up on that. Okay, okay. Michelle is working hard every day to take care of the house and the kids. Why don't you give her a day off once in a while? I mean, well, a day off. She's a full-time housewife, so it's like every full-time housewife, so it's like every day is a vacation, right? Are you serious? Housewives are busy too. Even when you're off work, she won't get to rest. That's such a luxury. Housewives have more free time. You'll get a divorce if you keep talking like that. That's not going to happen. It's Michelle. Husbands in every family say that until they get divorced. Don't underestimate a woman. You'll get scared. What's that? Michelle is fine. What makes you think so? She doesn't have parents anymore, so she has no one to rely on. If we get divorced, she won't be able to make a living. She might go back to work after Lily grows up. You never know. Mom, whose side are you on? I'm on the side of my beautiful grandchild right now. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Don't worry, Mom. We'll see. Okay, I can't. 
You do that for her. She's a good wife who even cares about me, her mother-in-law. Take good care of her. I'm home. Thanks for looking after Lily today. Henry, are you and Lily going out? That was quicker than I thought. Yeah, it was just a lunch with my friends. You should have gone shopping or something more relaxing. But I was worried about Lily. Lunch was a nice break. Okay. Where are you? At the park? I'm in a bar right now. A bar? Why are you in such a place? Where's Lily? My business partner called me, so I left Lily with mom. Oh, okay. Is that person Mr. Taylor? Yeah. He called me and said he found a nice place for lunch and drinks. Look, here we are. Oh, Taylor, what's with the smug look on your face? LOL. On your face? LOL. I know, right? But this place is really good, so let's come here together next time. What? Really? I haven't been out for a drink in a long time. It's good to go out for a drink once in a while. Leave Lily with mom again. Yeah, let's. But I feel bad I left her with your mom so suddenly. It's not a big deal. I'm sure my mom will be happy to be with her grandchild. Well, I'll go pick her up with some snacks. What? That's okay. Why not? I'll be home in an hour or two. I'll stop by at my mom's on the way home. But isn't that a long way to your mother's apartment from the bar? Yeah, but I'm fine with that. We decided that today is a relaxation day for you, right? Why don't you take it easy by yourself once in a while? But I don't want to spend so much time with your mother-in-law. I'm sure she's having a good time with her grandchildren. Let's don't bother her for a while longer. If you say so, I'll take you up on that. You do that. Thank you. You're so kind, Henry. What's with you all of a sudden? Actually, a friend of mine I met today was telling me. She's thinking about divorce. Divorce? Why? She said her husband says you're the one who should be doing the housework and raising the kids. She also said that she's been suspecting her husband is cheating on her recently. Oh, cheating. She said she's going to check on him with a detective. That's a hell of a situation. I got tired of listening to her complaining. That's why I came home early. Well, he's an idiot for letting his wife find out. It's not like it's okay if your wife doesn't find out. If she didn't find out, it wouldn't have happened. That's true, but... But it's unforgivable to cheat on the person married. It's like, what's the point of marriage? So, the fact that their wife found out about the cheating, it's because of his poor endgame, right? It's a woman's sixth sense, you know? The husband is not good enough for letting his wife find out anyway, lol. But wives are pretty observant, you know? Little changes, discomfort... I don't think so. He's just a guy who's not enough, who's going to get divorced. Those fools should just get hurt once and regret it. Henry, where's Lily? She's with me right now. I'm almost home. Good. What's wrong? I called your mother-in-law. She said Lily wasn't at home today, so... Did you call my mom? Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you in advance. You didn't have to do that. I bought mom some raisin sandwiches. I see, thank you. Is that, the one, is that the one from that popular place near the bar you were just at? Yes, you like it too, right? I'm buying some for us too, so look forward to it. Yay! Let's have it after dinner. Okay, but why did your mother talk like that? What? If you came to pick her up, why didn't she just say so? She made it sound like Lily didn't show up, so I got curious. I don't know. You care too much, don't you? I thought Lily was missing and got nervous. Of course not. 
Michelle, you worry too much about everything. I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm sorry. Sometimes mom and our conversations don't go well together. What? Really? Maybe she is getting a little senile. I don't think so. It's true that her legs and back looks painful, but her head is still clear. I hope so. By the way, what did you do? What did you do for Lily's lunch? Mom said she had a spaghetti. I see, that's good. Well, I'll make dinner and wait for you. Okay, thanks. Mom, where are Michelle and Lily? They left a note saying they were at your place. Are they still there? They are here. Why haven't they come back till this late? Are they going to stay there? Why don't you think about it though? What's that? I don't understand. Don't you have any idea why she left? Of course not. Then what about Mr. Taylor? Huh, Taylor? What does that guy have to do with anything? It's true that lately I've been invited to a lot of parties. I can't say no because it's also my work. I'm sure Michelle understands that. I don't mean that, Mr. Taylor. I'm talking about this Taylor. When did you get this? Seriously, Mom, where did you get this stuff? This woman is your colleague, Taylor, right? I can't believe you cheated on your wife with a woman who has the same name as your business partner. That's so shallow. No, it's not. Taylor is just a co-worker. If she's just a co-worker, what's the need to see her in the middle of the night or on her day off? What's the need to meet her so much? We're co-workers. We consult with each other about work and stuff. Consulting? That's a very convenient excuse. This picture is in the hotel lobby, right? I also have a picture of you standing across, too. What kind of consultation would you be doing there? When was this picture taken? The week before last, when you came home in the middle of the night. Michelle thought it was strange. She hired a detective through a friend of hers. I told you not to underestimate a woman. She said it's her money when she was working before Lily was born. She seriously checked? Michelle says, I can't forgive him. She says she'll sue you for alimony and divorce you. But I was careful not to let Michelle find out. Can't you just cover it up for me, Mom? Why should I do that? Because if Michelle and Lily leave, you'll miss them too, right? It's getting to the point where you can't get away with it anymore. There's no use in trying to cover it up now. She has already got all the evidence. No, I'm sorry I cheated, but it was just a passing fancy. She is not divorcing, is she? We have Lily. She is just mad because you brought Lily into it. Involve Lily? The day Michelle went to have lunch with her friend. You went to the aquarium with Lily and Taylor, didn't you? How do you even know about that? Know about that? Lily was drawing a picture and Michelle thought it was weird. What drawings? She said she was a drawing a picture of dolphins at the aquarium. That's not proof of an affair, is it? Maybe she just saw it on TV. She said she went there that day with you and a sister she didn't know. She also said it was a dolphin show and had a good time. Do you think a little kid that will lie about something like that? She said that? Lily, I told her not to tell anyone. And in the afternoon, Mr. Taylor, your business partner, invited you out for a drink. You left Lily with your unfaithful partner, didn't you? You know that much? I knew something was wrong that day. I didn't leave Lily with you, but she called me to thank me. That's why I told Michelle not to do anything. An alibi. Buying souvenirs to the house? You're a coward. And you even let Lily lie. You're an embarrassing and shameful son. Whose side are you on, mother? So, I'm on Lily's side. I think Michelle's right about this case. Leaving your precious child in the care of an unfaithful partner is unacceptable. So, you're not going to stop the divorce? That will only make Lily sad for having a single parent. Having an irresponsible father like you around is much worse. Michelle and I talked it over. From now on, I will live with Michelle and Lily. Huh? If Michelle and I get divorced, you'll be another person. I'm not another person. At least you and Lily are related by blood. What are you going to do if you live with her on such a pension? I can take care of Lily too. But Michelle is going to take a part-time job? 
Do you think she can get child support with such unstable child support with such unstable income? Michelle wanted to go back to work after the kid grows up. She says she can manage just by moving up her schedule by a few years. You're kidding, right? She seems content with her life as a full-time housewife. That's just because she was trying to impress you, isn't it? I think Michelle is a fast and efficient housekeeper. I'm sure she would have been able to do her job, too. I have a feeling she'll be able to go back to work soon without any problems. Wait a minute, what about me? I don't care. I think you got what you deserved. What will people say at work about my divorce? It's easy for people to gossip about that kind of thing at my place. Well, at best, you have to be careful what happened with Taylor doesn't get out. If you two lose your jobs, you won't be able to file for alimony. What about Lily? I can't see her anymore. Well, if Lily wants to see you, she can, but do you think she'll want to see her father who hardly even plays with her? Oh no. Maybe you thought you were doing it so well that you wouldn't get caught, but you're too naive, aren't you? You're saying that you don't care what happens to me? You were just a man who was about to get divorced anyway. You fools just get hurt once and regret it. I don't want to take care of such a stupid son anyway. You need to reflect on that. I went to a lawyer and filed a claim for alimony against my husband and the cheater. I got what I deserved and we divorced. Taylor resigned from her job and went back to the countryside. My husband became the target of rumors at work that he divorced me because of the affair. He feels ashamed of himself while working every day. Mr. Taylor, his business partner, found out and canceled his business meeting. As for me, I got the child's business meeting. As for me, I got the child support rights without any difficulty. We started a new life together. My mother-in-law, my daughter, and I in a small apartment. My mother-in-law goes to the park with my daughter every day. And I feel that she is more energetic than I am. My daughter doesn't seem to miss her father at all.